So, this is my first time making one of these videos. I had to do like a YouTube video for school or whatever. But I got it in my head that I wanted to do this, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. I'm pregnant, so I've been nesting really bad ever since I come into the second trimester. I'm throwing everything away. And I have a ton of makeup. I've already gave like two huge boxes away. So and if you see me look down, I'm like looking at myself. I'm trying not to poke off my back. But um a lot. I thought I lost something. But uh I got this idea in my head that um the makeup that I have left that I've chose to keep that I want to whittle it down a little bit more and I don't want of course I, you can tell I ain't got any on I could just got out of the shower I work a week and off a week so today is just a lazy day um But the makeup that I want to keep, I want to whittle it down to just like a couple of, like a couple of foundations, like one concealer. So I'm basically just going to try to wear something different every, well, not every day, but every time I feel like putting on makeup and deciding if I want to keep it or not, or if I want to throw, if I need to throw it away or give it to someone that'll use it. And that's what I did with all the makeup that I, I didn't actually throw it away. If it was expired, I threw it away. But I donated, all, I gave a lot of it to my friends and family. So, uh, so I'm basically doing that again. But I don't know. I figured this way I can kind of see, you know, kind of keep up with what I've thrown away, what I'm going to keep. Um... How I like it and stuff like that. So, I don't know. This popped into my head and I was like, well, to do a video like this. So, first one on YouTube. So, I was like, well, Friday, I'll give it a try or I'll just keep thinking about it. That's how I'm mad. So, this, what I'm going to go over is I wore Tuesday. Um, some of this stuff I already like and I already know I like and I'm going to keep. Um, there's a few things I'm getting rid of. So, the first thing is this. I'm from southeastern Kentucky. I, ain't, I can barely speak English, let alone read this. But this is really good. And it's showing up backwards in the thing. I don't know how to fix that. My bad. I'll put it in the description box. I got this off of Amazon. I've seen reviews on it that it is really good. So, and it is. I've had this for a while and it's probably expired. And that's the thing, I've had so much makeup that a lot of it's expired and I didn't really get that much use out of it. So, but highly recommend. Um, then I've got the CoverGirl Lid Lockup. I think I get these from like Walmart or wherever I can find them. This is like my second tube, I think. I think second tube. And I've got a backup in one of my drawers. I took the stopper out so I can get, try to get rid of as much as I can. Just try to see down in there. See how much is left. Uh, I really love this. The one thing, there was like a little bit of a learning curve with this. If you... Especially when it's new. If you put it on your eye and just kind of let it sit. And kind of like how some people do with concealer because it covers more. It'll turn very, very tacky. And the more you open it and the longer you have it, it'll automatically do the same in the bottle. But when you first get it, if you leave it on your eye for a little while. And then it'll become really tacky. And I haven't had any problems with any of my eyeshadows creasing, so... That'll be the one eye primer. I'll probably keep. I've already whittled that down to that. Um, next, I had the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus. It's the one in the pink top. The Perfecting and Smoothing. This is a dupe for the Tatcha um, Liquid Canvas. 
I've got notes up here. Uh, Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is a good dupe for it. Um, my skin was very, very oily. And then all of a sudden, one day I woke up and it was normal to very, very dry. This does not work like it did. Um, I'm going to try it during the summer where it heat, where it warms back up and I'm more, my skin's more normal. Well, not this, the Tatcha one that I've got, but I've had this for a long time too. I'm trying to see if there's a date. But, um, but right now it, it doesn't work. So this is probably going to either, this is probably get thrown away because it's probably expired. But it is, if you want a cheap dupe for the Tatcha and you like that, that's a, that's a really good one. Then these are not out anymore. ColourPop got rid of these. Try to round them all up. These are the ColourPop color sticks. These are the nude ones. And then there was some that come out with like the Enchanted collection or something not too long ago. And so I know these they don't have. They I guess they redid I don't know if they redid the formula or what they have new ones out that I saw. I really did like these. I've got way too much. There's a lot of other stuff I use more than these. Um the mattes were really pigmented. The shimmers are really good. They do have a lot of staying power. They don't budge. They don't crease. They don't fade. Um, but these are dried out. And it's mainly because I had way too much stuff. And I never got around to use them. See, I think some of these are in the new ones that come out that I looked at. It was Silk Robe. I don't know if that is. Warm Up's a really good metallic. It's really pretty. A butterfly away. I don't know if that is. I dropped one. Uh, Charmed Life. Spring Picnic. Sundays. Toss and Turn, I think. That's about rubbed off. Cutest Ever. Check, please. What is this? Charmed Life and... Somehow I got a second one, but they're really good. I don't know about the new ones. I don't have any of those. I'm probably ain't going to get any because I'm trying to get rid of what I got. The Beauty Blender Bounce Skin Tint. This is really nice, but I want to cut it, my foundations down to two that, at least two, maybe three that I really like. Um, this one's pretty good. It is buildable, so that's really good if you want, like, coverage or if there's some places, like, my red nose and all this in here that I want to cover up, you can just put drop in it. It's really good, but it's, uh, there's some other ones that I like better, so this is going to be given away to somebody that will want it. Um, ch -ch -ch. The Tarte Ultra Key, El, the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. I have the shade. Oh, the shade on this is Light One for the Beauty Blender, and this is Fair Neutral. When my skin was oily, I had the matte one, and it stayed really, really well. I absolutely loved it. Then all of a sudden my face went completely dry and I couldn't use it anymore. It looked awful. So I'm so glad that they come out with this because it do, it stays just the same. It's smoothing. It doesn't enhance any dry texture at all. So this is really good. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer is a dupe. Um, I got another color to try. There's not that many colors that I'm thinking will, that I like, not like this, 
So I'm gonna try it and see. That'll be one of in one of the videos, but I really like that it's stain. I need to put that over there. Cause this is for Saturday when I got the event. This is the eyeshadow primer and the concealer I'm putting up here because I'll be using that for sure for that day. Uh look at my notes here. Uh the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I really, really love it. It's not too heavy, no flashback or anything like that. I have this in the hourglass one. I did get the radiant one whenever it came out, but it is way too dark on me. It I don't know if it just oxidized my foundation from like the climbing on me because I'm from Kentucky. It's weird here. It's like winter. It's winter again. It was 90 degrees two, day, two days ago. Now it's like 50, 40. But um, if you meet, if you have the radiant and you don't like it and you've got the translucent, I found that if I mixed a little bit of the radiant powder in with the lard, uh, in with the just the regular translucent one, you get the hourglass effect with that powder. But uh, that was just too much work, so I got rid of it. I gave it to somebody that hopefully will use it. Um. Next, I have the Nabla Skin Bronzer in Ambra. It's the Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder. This is really good. It goes on really light, but it's very buildable, so you so you can do as little or as much as you want. The color is very, very pretty. Um, I don't know how good it's going to show up. Oh, yeah. I'm a night shifter. I like dim lights. I'm not a, into bright lights. So the lighting's probably awful. But it's a really good color for fair skin. And like I said, it, you can go real light or it's buildable. I'm not using that tomorrow. I need to put that somewhere else. But. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, keep it because I have more bronzers that I wanna go through and that'll be in other videos to see if I like them. So, but right now it's a contender, so. But it is, if you're looking for a bronzer like that, it's really good. So now I've got the Auric Glow Lust uh, Liquid Highlighter. What shade was this in? Morganite. I think this is the lightest one now. It's, I love this um, highlight, you know, right through here. It's it's so pretty. It's very, very pretty. I haven't used it under makeup, which I'm gonna have to start doing that because this is a very huge bottle. I've, there's, I don't even know how much, probably not even a lot that I've used, but I've gotta use this up before it you know, expire. So I'm going to try to put it, I've seen some people do that. So I'm going to try it, see if I like it. I don't know, but it's very, very pretty. It's not glittery. Um, I do powder my face. This goes over powder really well. Don't try to build it up. It gets real patchy. My double chin. It gets really patchy. And, but just, I use my finger or sponge and it's great. Uh, so this is the Becca Now Smashbox Under Eye Brightening Concealer. This is the Fair Light. It's a really light, like pinky peach. And I don't put this under my eyes, but I use it for like blemishes and stuff I don't even know but this right here I do put it on this right here and try to cover it up because it looks like I didn't blend out bronzer all that well <laughs> so I do cover it with this in it. and it's awesome and it's very thin it doesn't do anything weird to the makeup on top it looks like you have a weird thick patch right there uh, 
these blushes I love. I love them ever since I got them. They're the MAC Glow Play blushes. I've got So Natural. And this one was, I think it was the, yeah, this one come in busted like the actual thing fell out. And I got sent another one. So I've got a backup. But I love that one. Swatch. First time, oh God, first time. That's that one, that's one of my favorite ones. I've got, um, that's peachy. I love peach blushes, um, kind of like real light, like the, so, natural blushes. Um, there's, can you tell I'm new? There's the peach. And then I got Cheer Up. I had a Cheer Up. Yeah, I talk low. Uh, cheer Up. There's another one I had. It was like a really light pink. I couldn't tell. I felt like I was piling it on my face. And you couldn't tell at all. And that's Cheer Up. It kind of remind it reminds me. I think it has. It's peachy. I think this has shimmer in it. I think. Yeah, it's got. I don't know if you can tell. Probably not. But it has shimmer. It reminds me of the Nars Orgasm blush. But they stay on really well. They go over top of powder really well. They last all day. And I really love those. Those will be. I will definitely probably keep those blushes. It's going to be hard to get rid of a lot of them because I pick like the same colors and they're also pretty. So it's going to be difficult for that. Uh, so this the bottle, yes, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dewy Set. It's in the fragrance pineapple that they come out with. I used all of this. So, what's in here now is actually the Becca Face Mist. Um, I, I love the tops of these. I like that they lock. And the spray on them. I love it. The Anastasia. Anastasia. Um, I'm hick. I can't help it. I can barely speak English. Uh, I really, really love that for me. These bottles I really, really love. So, and I have five or six other setting sprays. And so I'm just reusing these bottles until I can get all of it in. So this is what I have left of the Becca. It's right there. And so I'm going to use all that up. I don't know if Smashbox has this, has the Becca's skin mist I kind of hope they do because it smells amazing it smells so yummy so it sucks that if they don't have that that's cool for tomorrow this is Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara after I do powder and all that stuff they get real light so I just kind of put this on top kind of bring the color back it's good I mean I don't try to like glue them down or anything or just kind of keep them in place it's more just bring color back into them especially where it's real light on the ends keeping it for now the mascara i got this in a sephora of like mini gift set it had some that was um full size and then some like around christmas gift sets this is the mark jacobs velvet noir major volume mascara Thing that says 10 or whatever i'm just using it to get rid of it once you know this pretty much has expired i'm gonna switch to another one um it does all right it does bleed it gives you raccoon eyes down here at the end of the day i don't like that but i'm gonna use it up or try to use as much as i can before it expires
make sure I didn't miss anything. These are the Jaclyn Cosmetics lipples that she cut the first one she come out with so this is candy drip ruby drip crystal drip and then the rose drip i've got somewhere because um it's probably my first one since i tried it these are really thick and like i love the tint in these these two show up really really well when you put these on but it's really really thick that's chipped but the formula is very thick. I don't like that. So these are going to go to somebody who hopefully will use them. Sorry, I'm that close. So that's Tuesday stuff. So I'm actually throwing away the moisturizer, the Revlon primer, the ColourPop eyeshadow sticks. I'm giving away the Beauty Skin Tint, the lip oils. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five. Five things out of 15. A third. It's not that bad. Not bad. So, um, for Saturday, I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear. A lot of this I already know I like. Um, because I want, it's a, the event that I got, it's a professional type of thing. So, I want to use stuff that I know works for me. I've got a couple of things that I got that are new that I'm going to try. So, it's like two things. But, uh, the, before I put on, I always put on, like, something moisturizing before I put on makeup and stuff. So, I've got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this. There is a dupe. And I think I gave it away. Um, I'll have to find it. I can't think of what it is. I, got, I ended up giving it away. But it smells straight. It smells up like straight oatmeal. I love the smell of this. And that's probably kind of what shows me to this more than the dupe. But. Flung out at me. But. It's moisturizing. It's not too heavy. Smells great. I like it. Let's see. Then I have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is, it is hydrating. It does have a good, it is gripping. Um, I tried the Elf Dupe, the one in the green squeezy tube. Um, I think, from what I can remember, because I think I gave it away too, it's a little bit thick, too too thick. Um, I would break out after wearing it. My skin can handle, but this, I don't have any issues, and I've used about that much. So I will be repurchasing this. This, the face base, the powder, the corrector, the. Eye primer, concealer, and the um, liquid high, um, the auric liquid highlight. All those are going to be repurchases. Um, I'm not using them up, and then that'll be it. And try something else. Those will be repurchased. So with this, um, uh, it's really good in the summer. Um, it seems it's hydrating, but even in the winter. If I have dry patches or anything, it seems like it still covers it up. Just something with the with the way it is. It doesn't like disturb any of that. So I like it. I like it. Uh, what's next? Ignore the top of this. It's messy. So I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This. I absolutely love since now that my skin's more normal to dry to very very dry in the winter. This is really really beautiful. It's real nice. It um, it's buildable. I usually use a sponge. Uh, I have Mont Blanc is the shade in this. I usually lean towards fair neutral 
um, foundations. This is probably definitely going to be a repeat by, I really do love this. It stays, it doesn't transfer, it's transfer proof, which a lot of the NARS foundations, are, I've tried the Sheer Glow, um, I've tried the Sheer Glow, I like it, I wish it had a pump, that's why I don't, I don't have it anymore, I, don't, I try to use as much as I could and then gave it away, pretty much I don't, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a pump, like, I mean, yeah, it's messy, I have to use this, oh god, that weird, but, uh, <laughs> And then I had um, the Natural Radiant one. And it's just too drying for my skin, but it's beautiful. And it, it it's transfer proof. It stays a long time. So, Norris has really good foundations. Expensive, yes, but I make sure to use, I make sure to use all, as much as I can, all of it. My goal is all of it. That way I can get my money's worth. And... The makeup, I saw this on TikTok, and TikTok's getting ridiculous because it makes me want to have a water bar and doing some kind of hydration station thing with all these skinny syrups and flavor, like I stick with Kool-Aid flavor packets or just plain water, but, and all this other stuff. But I've seen this YouTube thing covering me up. You don't need to see my mess house. This is one. It's the Ultra 80 Powder Compact. And I've seen them use, put this under eyes. It's beautiful. It's smoothing. It's blurring. It's, it's magic. It <laughs> really is. They weren't lying. So that'll be something I'll keep. Because sometimes the loose powder is just too heavy. Going on with setting spray. Um, I usually, whenever I do setting spray, I have one to melt everything together. And then I have one that I will put on to try to make, help my makeup stay longer. So this is the Milani Make It Last Original 16 Hour Wear. Got that much left. Um, if I had, I have another, um... Anastasia spray. It's the peach. I made trick with pineapple on the peach. I still have it and I haven't used all of it up, but I would put in it, but I'm still going to use this. I wonder I bet that'll come off. No. Because I was going to try to put um, my Urban Decay ones in this because I do like the spray on this. So, I'll probably end up putting it I'd say in one of these little bottles whenever I finish them up to see if I like that setting spray with that nozzle. I do have a bigger <laughs> Anastasia. It's the um, the original one they come out with. And um, right now I have two faces, two face, three in one setting spray, the watermelon one in it. And I'm trying to use it up. So, because I really like spray. I don't like the spray on those other bottles. So. One makeup day at a time. Blush. I got, I have the NARS Orgasm and NARS Darling Air Matte Cream Blushes. They're pigmented. They stay a long time. They go over powder really, really well. Um, i trying to see. Maybe I can show you. It's got... You can kind of see the gold flecks in it. It's really, really pretty. It looks a lot like that. That pinky, peachy with the whatever. And this is more of like a peach. It's on the peach side, so you can see I've used I use a um, double fiber brush for my cream blushes, and I just kind of like stipple it on. They're beautiful. I really they're my favorite. They're one of my favorite. I'll probably keep <laughs> blushes so hard. I love blush. 
I can't. It'll, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to get rid of them. Let's see. I packed everything in here in a plastic bag because I knew it would be a lot. Because some of it, it's going to go back in it and I'm going to give away, throw it away and all that stuff. So, eyeshadow. Cream eyeshadow. I have the Smashbox Always On Cream Eyeshadow. I have Vanilla, Amber, uh, Suede, and Sepia. I'm guessing that's how you say it. Um, I think Vanilla is the lightest one. I wanted to... These... Okay, so... These do not crease. They don't budge. They're awesome. So I wanted to try to get a light one to cover up like the veins and stuff in my eyes. And then where they don't crease, put, you know, eyeshadow on top, over top of it. It's been a little while since I haven't, since I've used these. I need to try to use them up. Try to maybe do that with this one. This one, not that one. The uh, suede one, it's got more of like a peach pink peach type of color to it but the browns are really pretty i have a warm and a cool brown and those are really good i don't know if i don't know if i'll keep those because i do have a lot of i still have quite a few eyeshadow palettes and that i'm going to be using and seeing if i want to keep or not so, so I don't know. I may keep those. I'm never gonna get anything away. Uh, so these are the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. I love these. I love these. They're so pretty. Um, from what I can see, they don't have this one anymore. This is Paradise Found. It looks like an older top. Compared to like the newer ones. Yeah. But um, this is a real light pink. Cause I got, I don't, I don't have like a lot of bright colors. I don't ever use them. That one's a little bit. But that's Paradise. Ooh, Paradise found. There went the lid, the little stopper thing. And let me get that. And this one's Top Yacht. And I think that's a lot of people's favorite. Yeah, I put that in a weird spot. Top, yeah. They say they're real glittery. They don't fall out. Oh gosh. Got that on my shirt. That's all over my shirt. Um, and that'll be something I'll keep repurchasing. The ones I've seen, they've got like maybe two or three. Just from what I've looked at, I don't know. But Top Yacht will be a definite repurchase. Is it me? Was it that? Am I? I've got it all over me. So this is one of the new things that I want to try. I saw Allie Glines do a... YouTube video, video of the I ain't gonna butcher it because I I don't know I can't remember how she said it but it's the S A I E it'll be in the description box uh, the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer Bronzer and Fair Bronze and the color I don't like. A lot of bronzers pull orange and stuff on me, and I'm hoping this won't. It's been, I just stuck my finger in it. 
<laughs> yeah, I just stuck my finger in Oh, well. It looks like a pretty color um, from the video I seen she did. It looked... So, I've got high hopes for this. So, I'm going to be wearing that Saturday. And I'll, uh, and I'll do another video where I will update on that cream bronzer. And then the next new product that I want to try. And then I'm also will have like a bunch of different stuff to try. Hopefully. A lot of different other products. So, I have the Rare Beauty... Tinted lip oils. I have Wonder Joy, which is a peach. Um, Happy. From the videos I've seen, they said that it looked like it oxidized, so that might be like a little deeper peach. And then I've got, did I say Wonder? And Delight. Um, I really love lip oils since my lips are dry all the time. And I always want something that will tint them instead of something that's clear and leave behind a stain and these do so i'm really really excited to try these if they do you know i'll probably end up getting the rest of them at some point so that's it um i'll be making another video maybe monday tuesday to update and keep a tally on all the stuff that I'm keeping and giving away and hopefully uh, by doing this it kind of pushed me into giving stuff away but sorry it's all over place like I, I'm new I'm new it, this is new so go easy on me <laughs>